watching this video, you probably have an MP3 player. Many of these MP3 players are probably made by Apple, Microsoft, Sony, Samsung, etc. But are you satisfied with the performance of your MP3 player? Some of us like MP3 players that can simply play MP3 files, but others of us prefer ones that can do media files, ebook functioning, and maybe even connect to the internet. Personally, I like MP3 players that are 100% Bluetooth compatible. Why? Let me tell you the reasons. Don't you use Bluetooth yet? What are your reasons? Maybe it uses too much battery. Or maybe not enough devices can be connected at once. Or maybe it's just too short of a distance. Hmm. Well, if these are your reasons, hesitate no longer, because all of these problems have been corrected with the development of Bluetooth 2.0, much like with my P2. With Bluetooth 1.2, only one device and one headset can be connected, so only one person can listen at a time. And that's no fun. But, thankfully, for Bluetooth 2.0, a maximum of seven devices can be connected at once. And with P2, two of you can listen. So, if I press play on the P2, the sound will come from here and here, doesn't it? Moreover, it works in spite of this long distance. as if the distance were short. That's great coverage, isn't it? If the phone rings while you're listening to music, how do you react? Maybe you have to turn on the volume, throw off your headphones, and rush to find your phone before you answer it. Or I bet if you're using hands-free Bluetooth, it'd be totally even worse because you have to actually pick up the hands-free, which completely defeats the purpose. But if the MP3 player and the cell phone are paired, how will this process change? Let me show you. So, the phone rings, your music will actually stop, and your P2 will start ringing. Like this. Now I'll answer the phone. Hello? No, I'm not interested in insurance. Fortunately for me, as soon as I disconnect the call, my music picks up just where it left off. And this way, I don't actually have to scramble to find my phone, and I don't have to miss the calls. Are answering and calling all? Of course not. Using the P2, you can even transfer files. You can send text, pictures, or even phone numbers to your friends. Using the phone book, you can call, or you can choose the person and make a call immediately. Let's call Superman. <laughs> Sometimes, we feel like sending music, movies, and pictures to our close friends. With a computer, it's a piece of cake. Without, well, it's not so easy. Unless, of course, you use P2 like I do. Let's give it a shot. Hey, send me anything. Look, P2 is receiving a file. When the transfer's finished, we'll be able to see what it is. Are you worried about the speed of file transfers? You must be thinking of Bluetooth 1.2, because Bluetooth 2.0 has been fixed so that it is three times as fast as Bluetooth 1.2. So don't worry. Wow, it's my picture! In closing of this review, I will now connect the Bluetooth speaker to the mobile phone using the multi-pairing function. Strictly speaking, I'm no longer using the P2's multi-pairing function, but rather that of the Bluetooth speaker. Even though it's hard to recognize, my Bluetooth speaker, my P2, and my mobile phone are all interconnected. <laughs> Let's play some music. How can we use this feature? Try taking the speaker with you into the bathroom while you're having a nice hot bath or shower to listen to music comfortably. And if the phone rings while you're here, just hit this button, and when you hang up, the music comes back. You can also make a call by hitting this button twice. It'll redial the person that you just talked to. So, how was the review? Sorry I didn't show as many features as I intended, but Rest assured that if another great new product comes out, I'll be here to tell you all about it. Again, I'm Christine, and I'll see you all later.